Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? So I'm hoping you guys are having a wonderful day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this video. So today I'm coming to you guys just to show you how I'm jazzing up my bears. Um, I don't know if you, if you follow me, um, guys, you know that right after Valentine's Day, I went ham, crazy, for bears. Um, I'm going to use bears. I use bears throughout the year um, in all types of gift baskets. So I'm going to use some bears in my Mother's Day gift baskets. And as you see, these bears have red bows on them. So we're going to change these bows out to give them, to make them look mother, like Mother Day bears. If I was to go out and buy a Mother's Day bear today, they range anywhere, anywhere from, I would say $5 on up. This bear cost me 50 cents. So we're going to make this bear right here look like um, Mother's Day. And actually, this bear came from, I don't know where this bear came from. Well, anyway, some of these bears wasn't even 50 cent. Um, yeah, he was about 50 cent. He was about 50 cent. Okay, so let me just <laughs> keep on moving. So I'm going to make him look like um, a Mother's Day bear. How I'm going to do that is I'm going to change the bow out. Um, I have a couple examples, but here's a, a larger bear for a larger basket. We are going to change the bow out on him. And here's another bear. I've already went in and changed this bow out. I used a polka dot, a yellow polka dot um, ribbon. So to make, you know, to give it that Mother's Day feel. And he looks cute. So I'm going to place him over on the side. Place him over on the side. So you want to use light color, um, you know, light color ribbon to give it the Mother's Day feel. If it was, um, let's say, another holiday, Christmas, we could take it and put a Christmas ribbon on him. If it was a birthday, we could put happy birthday ribbon on him. Um, a lot of these ribbons I got from Michael's, quick and easy, dry, pick up, pick, pick up the ribbon that you want to use, purchase it. Um, we also get ribbon on clearance and we get ribbon at discounts. So, okay, so I'm going to leave the ones up here and let's start with this one. So we're going to start with the small one. So the small one right here, guys, it has the, this is the original way it looked and this is the way I um I did him so all I did was I took my scissors to take the tag off of him and we're gonna cut this bow off so let me bring the camera in so you guys can see exactly up close what I'm doing here just gonna bring the camera in and point it down so you guys can see what I'm doing Okay. Okay, so we have him here. You don't need to see me. Just to, I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna carefully cut the string that's holding the holding the bow on him. I'm not going to discard this. I'm going to use this at another time. Um, so see, I didn't poke a hole in him um, and I'm just gonna remove the little thread that was holding him you don't actually have to move all remove all of it but you want to try to remove some of it okay so we did that I removed some of it right so now I can take some pink ribbon and put place that on him but what I don't, I don't want to do that. What I want to do is I want to give it a Mother's Day feel. So I'm going to use this um, ribbon. I'm going to take it out the package. So I'm going to figure out. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to take this off. I can't figure out where it begins and stops. I'm going to take this off. Then I'm going to take 
my ribbon. So I'm going to make a bow just like this one. So I'm going to take my ribbon and I'm going to cut it about, about yay long. Right? And I'm going to take this and I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to make just a small slit as if I was ducktailing the end of the ribbon. Fold it back over. I'm cutting at a slant. So now I have that, right? So now I'm going to take um, a piece of, what is this? What? Well, it don't matter. I'm going to take a piece of this um, curling ribbon. You can take curling ribbon, wire, whatever you want to use. Um, I'm just going to use this for now. And you're going to take this and just bunch it over. Now take your curling ribbon. You can take whatever you have. And I'm going to make go right in the center of it. Tie it. I'm tying it to the back right here. I'm going to double tie it so it don't come loose. I'm going to tie it kind of tight. Right? Make sure it's centered. And I'm making sure it's centered by just fluffing it out and making sure that each step both sides are even so it's a little not centered so I'm just gonna close it back up and just slide it with my nails over a little bit then open it back up quick and easy bow right I'm gonna cut this off the excess off then I'm gonna take my bear here's my bear I'm going to hot glue, take my hot glue gun. I had to unplug it. And I am going to just place a piece of a dot of glue right there on that. And then just place this right on the bear up underneath his chin where the other bow was. That's it for a minute. And actually, I don't even I don't even have to hold it too long. Just press it in. That glue attaches to that fur and stays. And voila. Here you go. Cute. And I'll just move on to the next one. So this is prepping my bears. This is prepping my bears. So I'll do that again. And it's, it's kind of fast. You know, um, prep work is kind of fast. What's not fast is stopping to take, to do, to do the bears. So I'm going to do that again. Um, but hey, let's use a piece of the yellow ribbon this time. Actually, no, because the yellow is not white enough. Um, the yellow is kind of thin. The green is kind of thin. Um, I could actually go in with this, which I think I will. I'm just going to cut a piece of this about three, three inches, I think. And I'm just measuring by sight. So I'm going in with the pink and white stripe. I'm going to do the same method I did for the last one. Cut it at a slant. Turn it over, cut this side at a slant. And I'm cutting towards the outside. Open it up. That's I have this. Take a piece of my cutting. I'm curling. What do you call this curling ribbon? So 
So I'm going to take a piece of silver this time. And I guess you could fold this over, I guess. And then again, no. This is this is a little stiffer, this um, ribbon that I'm using. So I'm just going to push this in in the middle. This is a little stiffer. Take my curling ribbon. So this is like a butterfly, butterfly bow. Close, close, whatever. Double tie it. And now open it up. Open it back up. Cut off the excess. Snip it. it back up and now I'm going to go in place a piece of hot glue on there a dab of hot glue and just place that right on him so I ordered um Timu has um just plain old bowls I think they have a hundred I think about a hundred a set of hundred bows they haven't come in yet so I'm just gonna go in and make my bows for my bears but when my order come in I'm going to use those bows that are ordered from Timu um, and it was very they were very very inexpensive they were about I think they were like two bucks three bucks for a hundred little bows so I can take those little bows I'm I, I purchased that's going to probably look more like they're going to be satin. So I'll take those bowls and you can go in and garnish, you know, what you can put, use those bowls and do it, whatever you want to do with them. So like this, I can place this up here. That's an ugly bow though, but these are done. These are done. So now I'm going to move on to the larger. I'm going to plug this back up so it don't get cold for a second. So now I'm going to move on to my larger. I'm going to, yeah, move on to my larger beers. So I have this beer here. Take this. Now on this one. Okay. Uh, take this one I loose. So if you pull on the, the bow, the um, thread will come up. I'm going to remove this that quick and easy. Do not discard these. Keep these. They come in handy at another time. So I have him. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place a green bow on him. I think I, no, I think I want to play. <laughs> I'm going to place a polka dot bow on him. So this is a little different. So now I have my ribbon. I'm going to take the ribbon. And I'm going to tie it like as if I'm tying my baby's shoe. I'm going to pay attention to this right here, this part. That's going to be my tail. So I'm going to tie it. Tie it. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. So I got that. Now I'm going to come. I'm going to go over and just tie it like I'm tying the shoestring. Okay, did you guys see that? Let me do it again. It's simple, but it may not be for others. So we got that, right? Go over, push under, pull through. Now it's at this point, you can, um, so it's, a, it's only a one side, so I'm going to push the polka dots through this side. So it's at this point, you can adjust 
the loops. So I want my loops to be the same size. So I'm going to pull through a little bit. But then you're going to tighten up, tighten it up. And I can play with my loops here. So he's a pretty large bear. So we want a medium sized bow on him. Not too big. Then just adjust this. Pull this tight. And now I can adjust my, my bow here. Once again. I'm going to take and cut this part to the length of the tail on this side. And his bow, um, I just want to cut his bow at a slant. I don't want a ducktail. So you're going to hold it and just cut it at a slant. Actually, yeah, let's ducktail it. It's a little easier on camera. So I ducktail that one. I'm going to ducktail this side. Just fold it over. Nice bow. And while it's back, grab my glue gun. I made sure that this side of the bow is the same size as the other side. And I'm going to place that right on him. So I just put some glue on the back of here. I'm just going to place that right underneath his chin. Center it. Hold it for just a few seconds. Straighten out your bow. Make sure you're getting the desired look. And that's the look I want. So now this guy looks like a Mother's Day bear. Um, so here's this guy. And I got this guy from Wal Walgreens. Same as Tag. I think he was probably about 3 or $4. I got this guy. He has the green bow, still Mother's Day colors, um, the light green, lime green, the yellow. I have this guy. He came from Walgreens also. I placed the bow to his side. The original bow that was on him was, on, was at a tilt on his side. So what I did was I went in and I placed the yellow bow right where the other bow was. So it looks better right here instead of in the front. The makers of this dog, they when they placed the bow on him, they knew where they were going to place it. So I'm not going to fight with them. I'm going to place it exactly where the original bow was, which was on the side. And it does look better that way. And he's cute. Same with the little uh, bears. I'm not going to place the bow on the side. I'm going to place it exactly where the makers of this bear um place that bow and this is what these look like but okay guys so that's prepping my bears I have one more thing to show you guys I'm going to go in and I'm going to prep my vases my flower vases um, I have a couple different vases let me move the camera up a little bit actually I'll keep it down um, but I want to show you guys I'm going to bring some flowers up on the table. So here's some flowers, right? So I have my flowers. Um, and so... Let me come down. Okay, so I have my vases. So I have whatever vase you want to use. Um... These vases we got on clearance. So, just part of uh, my shopping thing. So, I'm going to remove the price, the tags. I'll, I'll go back in and clean those up. Here's another vase. Move it, remove your price tags. And so... What I wanted to show you guys was this clear one. I am going to 
do this clear one. Um, so it's clear. I just can't take, let's see. I just can't take some flowers and just, you can take flowers and just stick in there, but you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is you want to get a piece of tissue paper and stick down in there and then place the flowers in there. Like that. Um, let's see. Let's see what color flowers. I'm going to use some yellow flowers. Where's some yellow flowers? Here's some yellow flowers. So I'm going to take these yellow flowers. I'm going to bend a little stem. Place those in there. And that's prepping my flower base. With the small one, I may have to get a wire cutter, but I'm going to take and do the same thing with the small one. Take a piece of tissue paper. I don't need that large of a piece since that's so small. Actually, let me be a little neater. I'll cut this because it just look like jagged edges. I don't want to see jagged edges. But I'm going to take this do the same thing, start it off. Actually, that piece, piece is not big enough. Okay. And let's just get some white flowers. So I'm going to clip these white flowers. Because this is a really small vase. So I'm just going to clip them with the snips. I tried to clip all four together, but stems, it wasn't going didn't like me. Okay, so. Okay. And that's prepping my flowers. And it looks cute. I can bend them out a little bit if I want. Bend them in. But I'm going to use these in um, a couple of my designs that I am working on today. So that's why I decided just to um, show you guys me prepping the flowers. So I'm going to snip this at the height I want this one. Stick that in there. Continue with the rest of them. And that one's cute as well. So I have my three bases for my three different designs I am working with today. But okay, guys, I hope you guys, let me pull the camera back up. I need a cameraman. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, so, I hope you guys can use some of these ideas. Um, make your vases with your flowers. Try to use, since it's Mother's Day, I mean, you're going to use what you got. But I'm trying to use bright flowers, vibrant flowers. Um... This is orange. This is kind of like a burnt orange. It's a fall color, but I can still use it. Um, depending on the design I'm working with, um, the items that I'm working with. So don't be afraid to mix and match with these flowers. Um, yeah, so, but I'm going to try to stick with a lot of light colored flowers, but I'm not afraid to use the other ones either. Um, but okay, guys. Jazz your bears up. Quick and easy way to jazz them up. Okay, guys, stay up, stay up, stay blessed, guys. Till the next one. Peace.